Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga Walkthrough Part 4. So this is... Uh, it might be Tractor Beam Takedown, but I think the level's something else. Uh, the levels, like I said before, they have different names depending on which stage you are. And kind of the in-between stages have a different name. So, anyway, this is a six-ish minute video, a little bit longer than that. And the LEGO Star Wars videos have been a little bit slow. I'm going to be quickening the pace here after the next video. And I'm going to probably just try to upload two a day. Because if I do one a day for this game, it's going to take over a month. And, you know, <laughs> that's just a little bit too long. So we can do things with the Jedi, and we'll be doing this throughout the, most of the game. I don't know if we've done it yet, but we can take control of their mind. And that means we're going to want to consider the times that we will actually be doing that. I'm trying to stall here because I kind of forgot what we're supposed to be doing. I don't think we need to mind control anybody yet, but we do need to pull the lever with the force, and then we can walk on over behind that laser grid and that actually starts the level oh, or it continues it. Somewhere. It's kind of confusing. But we get to play as Han Solo now again and also Chewbacca. And I kind of felt like Chewbacca's gun was not super good and then we're gonna see something else here that Chewbacca just did on the right side. If you missed that where he sorta aimed at the box and then it auto-targeted in four different locations. And that's something I haven't really quite understood, even to this day. Uh, you end up doing it probably 10-15 times throughout the entirety of the campaign, but it's just so weird because, like, you need to shoot something, so instead of just shooting it, it's gonna make you target it five times and then shoot the end of it. And it does it all on its own, you don't actually control any of it. And there's not, like, anything on the screen that really tells you what you're doing, so it's just a very strange sort of sequence that you have to sit through. We also get to see some <laughs> gameplay of the cover shooter in a LEGO game, and we've probably done that a few times now too, but I'll talk about it here again. And that's just where if you have waist-high walls like those stormtroopers are behind, you can actually use it as cover and shoot over the cover to protect yourself. But I kind of find it to be more annoying than useful because you tend to just get stuck on the wall when you want to move, and you don't really get as much freedom to aim, and especially right there because the stormtroopers have grenades now, and there's like a huge indicator that shows up on the ground when they throw a grenade at you. Uh, when you are stuck behind cover and they chuck a giant grenade at you, that's not very good either. And it's it takes a second. You like you're stuck to the cover. It's a little bit. It feels sticky, so it takes a second for you to kind of get off of it. So that's why I don't really like using the cover that much, but it is still something that you can do if you really want to. It's not super helpful. <laughs> I don't think I've ever found a point or ever will find a point in this game where I'm like, oh man, I'm really glad I was using that cover, especially because you have unlimited lives. I mean, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to get that key card and then shove it into the door, keep walking through the Death Star. And I am actually trying to make somewhat of an effort to talk throughout the entirety of this video because uh, <laughs> the last three videos got copyright claimed for uh, not for the like five seconds that I didn't actually say anything so it just means I mute that part of the video and that's just great isn't it so I don't know I either mute the whole video so I can upload the stupid thing or I talk over everything which is probably just as annoying because then I'm talking over other people who are talking and two competing voices is pretty annoying so you know that's just how it's gonna go this was a really weird spot where Chewbacca couldn't grab onto the lever, so I was a little bit confused. What are we supposed to do there? Oh, we just jump up and grab onto the lever. I don't know if Chewbacca was just a little bit too big to fit in there, but whatever it was, you grab onto it, and now Luke and Leia can come on through. So the level's going to switch us over to them. And then we see this big room with a guy talking into a tube of lipstick. I think that's supposed to be the little message radio that they use in the movie, but <laughs> they, they go for like a lipstick on a torch handle because, you know, it's Lego. And then we're just gonna defeat all the stormtroopers. Lots of cover in here, and you get studs for blowing them up. I think you even get studs for destroying them. And that's pretty good because True Jedi is back. It comes in three stages. I haven't talked about that yet, but that's at the top of the screen there. And if you get all three stages, you get three Kyber cubes, or whatever they're called, Kyber bricks. 
And that's of course what you use to get upgrades. And if you get all three of them all the way to True Jedi, then you complete that part of the level and you also get three of those bricks, of course. So that's another thing to remember, but I also probably wouldn't worry too much about getting True Jedi when you're going through the campaign the first time. Uh, worry about it when you are coming back on free play. You'll have a much easier time getting True Jedi on free play than you will on the story mode. And that's, of course, going to be even easier once you start getting the stud multipliers. And then the key card we need is going to be behind the uh, red laser wall here. So once we use... I think we, I think I picked up some armor, or my brother picked up some armor from the stormtroopers that they dropped. And we use that to open up the door. And now we can run on back down here and open up the door that was blocking us before. There's golden... Studs? Not studs. There's golden Lego pipes on those doors. So you can imagine if you've played other Lego games, the golden stuff can be destroyed, but we can't do it in story mode, so you'll have to come back and free play to do that stuff. And then be careful not to fall off the edge like I did. <laughs> and here we need to defeat a bunch of the enemies on the left. And then there's going to be some up on the right side. We can shoot that explosive barrel to the right of them to defeat them if you manage to get it before actually blowing up the stormtrooper. And after these guys are dead, it should let us grapple over to the other side. Yes, so everyone with a gun can grapple and a lot of people without a gun can also grapple. And once we get through this door, that'll be the end of level 4.